This is the new VFC M249 you brought today, but you are not sure how to operate it. In today's video, I will show you how to properly operate your VFC M249. First, let's take a look at the fuel stripping of the entire replica. This replica can be divided into several major components, barrel, receiver, bolt assembly, stock, and grip. To remove the barrel, ensure that the bolt assembly is locked in the rear position. Do not forcefully remove it as it can cause damage to the feed ramp and cause malfunctions. Additionally, make sure that the safety is disengaged before attempting to charge the bolt assembly to avoid damaging internal components. Press the barrel release lever and pull the barrel forward and upward to remove it. Next, to remove the gas storage, open the top cover, remove the dummy rounds if present, and press the air nozzle release button. Finally, press the gas storage release button and take out the gas storage. When disassembling the stock, to prevent the recoil spring from popping out, first, hold the charging handle, then pull the trigger and slowly release the charging handle to reset the bolt. Once done, remove the two rear pins to detach the stock. Simply pull the grip rearward to remove it. To disassemble the bipod, rotate the gas tube to a fixed angle, then pull it forward to detach, and remove the bipod. Next, push the recoil spring forward and upward to remove it. Once done, pull the bolt carrier rearward and remove it to complete the majority of the disassembly. VFC offers a wide range of accessories for everyone to choose from. Let's proceed with reassembling the replica. First, insert the bolt carrier group. And align the recoil spring with the corresponding groove. Align the notch on the front of the grip with the slot on the receiver and ensure it is properly positioned. Then align the stock with the corresponding hole and insert the retaining pin. Insert the bipod into the gas tube and then reinsert it into the receiver. Ensure it is properly positioned Rotate it until it locks into place. Removing the handguard is quite simple. You only need a wrench to push the retaining pin in the middle of the handguard, and then you can remove it. For installing the M249 tactical rail handguard, simply align the holes under the barrel with the protrusions on the handguard. Tighten the screws to complete the installation. The barrel can be extended. First, move the flash hider and use a wrench to detach the short barrel. Replace it with a long barrel and tighten it with a wrench. Close the receiver cover and pull the charging handle back to ensure the bolt in the rear position. Press the barrel release lever and insert the barrel back into place. While holding the charging handle, pull the trigger slowly to release the bolt. Before installing the gas tank, Make sure the bolt is locked in the rear position. It is crucial to ensure the bolt is locked back 
before installing the gas nozzle to avoid the risk of accidental discharge. Then, insert the gas nozzle into the chamber and attach the magazine. Finally, push the gas nozzle fully into the place. The magazine has a small hole underneath for gas filling. It is important not to overfill with gas. It is recommended to fill the gas for approximately 15 seconds per shooting session for optimal performance. For safety purpose, the M249 is equipped with a high pressure relief valve that automatically releases pressure if it exceeds 200 psi, preventing malfunctions and other issues. It is essential to use 12 kg gas or below. Using high pressure gas or CO2 power sources will result in replica not functioning properly. The selector switch next to the bolt can be set to safe and fire. Pushing it downwards sets it to fire without BBs. While pushing it upwards sets it to safe which it will not fire when there's no BBs. Before making any selections, please make sure that the bolt is locked to the rear. The hop adjustment is quite simple. It can be assessed through this small hole, while turning it counterclockwise increases it. Turning it clockwise reduces the hop effect. Finally, but also a crucial step, load the BBs into the M249. When installing the magazine on the M249, there are a few things to pay special attention to. It is recommended to use a VFC M249 specific speed loader for reloading BBs. Attempting to manually load more than 80 BBs can be difficult and may potentially damage the non-M249 specific speed loaders. The M249 specific speed loader is designed to load 40 rounds at a time. The optimal BB capacity for the magazine is recommended to 120 rounds. With the top cover open, locate the magazine well. Insert the front end of the magazine into the well, then press down the rear latch until it locks into place. It is important to never close the top cover with BBs loaded when the bolt is not locked in the rear position. This action can cause serious damage to the feet lip. Always ensure that the bolt is locked back before closing the top cover. That concludes the operation of the VFC M249. Have a great time playing and enjoy your weekend survival games.